Grave Digger asks, what about finding average rate of change with the interval specified? For example, um, given the function 4x minus 7 and the interval is 7 to b. Well, it doesn't seem like there's enough information here to come up with a numerical answer. So um, the answer is going to have to be an expression. But um, I'm going to play around with it and see what I come up with. So remember that average rate of change is a slope. So that's what we're really finding is a slope. And we know that slope is change in y over change in x. So y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Okay. Um, so when you're given an interval, you are given x values. So we're being given x values of 7 and b. Oops. We're given uh, x, values of, x values of 7 and b. Um, so we need to find the y values that go with those x values. Um, but y equals 4x minus 7. I'm assuming that's what we're meaning here. Um, so in this case, that's 4 times 7 minus 7. So that's 28 minus 7, so that's 21. And in this case, that would be 4b minus 7. 7. Um, so that's all we can do is put 4b minus 7. So when we go to do the slope, and I'll go back to calling it rate of change, but it's the same thing, we need to do y minus y. So that would be 4b minus 7. Okay, that's the first y. Minus the other y, which is minus 21, over x minus x which would be b minus 7. So it's just a matter of simplifying this as best we can. OK, so this will be 4b uh, minus 28, you know, just combining these like terms, over b minus 7. All right, of course, um, b cannot equal 7 because if it did, we would be dividing by 0. And that would be undefined. So keep in the back of your mind that b is not allowed to be 7. OK, but keeping that in mind, um, <clears throat> we've got a common factor up here. Um, there's a, a GCF of 4. So I could pull out this common factor of 4. And that's going to leave behind b minus 7 if I factored out the 4 over b minus 7. Now I'm noticing that this b minus 7 factor will in fact cancel out. So we can cancel out the b minus 7. So that means that the rate of change is 4 um, as long as b does not equal 7 because that would be undefined. All right, so that was kind of fun. Well, so then that's it. Rate of change is 4 as long as b does not equal 7. Thanks for the question, Grave Digger. That was fun.